And right here we have x to the m power divided by x to the n power, and that's going to be equal to x to the m minus n power. In other words, we take the top power and we subtract the bottom power from it. Now let's find where this rule comes from. Let's look at this example, x raised to the third power divided by x raised to the second power. Looking at the numerator, x to the third power, we could rewrite that as x times itself three times. In the denominator, we have x to the second power, which we can rewrite as x times itself twice. And what we can do is kind of pair one x on the top with one x on the bottom, and we end up getting this next line here where we get x over x times x over x times x. Now, x over x is equal to 1, and so we can replace both of these with 1. In other words, we have 1 times 1 times x. And anything times 1 is equal to itself, so we're left with just x. So we get x to the third power divided by x to the second power equals x. And instead of writing out all these x's and then finding how many 1's there are, we can end up just using this property instead as a shortcut. That is, if we use this property for this problem, we would have x to the third power divided by x to the second power is equal to x to the 3 minus 2 power, which is equal to x to the 1 power, which is just x.